Blah. Ah. What's good, everybody? My name is Rogran. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are ready for another tech-related video of me being weird and using a weird operating system that I really shouldn't be for this entire type of content. But today we'll be talking about how to get Caden Live to do GPU rendering, specifically on an NVIDIA GPU, uh, because it can't do it by default. It has a little option and it doesn't actually do anything. It, like, saves 10 minutes, which is not how GPU rendering should work. But anyway, let's jump over to the desktop and I will show you guys how to get this set up and it will be surprising how it works. You will be shocked because it's really easy to do. It's just very weird. So let's get into it. So first things first, you're going to want to go over and open your web browser. I've got Firefox here and you're going to want to go to shot cut org and I'll have this linked below this is what you will need shotcut is a free open source cross-platform video editor it's a really cool little editor but we're using Caden live so why do we need this well the reason for it is that shotcut actually does have GPU rendering for Nvidia and AMD and all that namely Nvidia I actually don't know about AMD because I only have an Nvidia GPU right now I want to get an AMD Prices are expensive right now. But yeah, it can do GPU rendering for videos on an NVIDIA GPU, which is exactly what we need. So we're gonna steal its thing that lets it do that. So you're gonna wanna go over to the download section and you're gonna wanna go ahead and download the Linux portable tar file, either from Fosshub or from GitHub. I downloaded the one from GitHub. And then you're gonna open up your file browser, which for me is Dolphin because I'm on KDE. So then in downloads, you want to find do 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 do. Here we are. So in your downloads folder, you want to find the shotcut Linux and open that up. Ignore the pictures of Psy from Persona 5. I don't have a type. I don't know what you're talking about. And you'll get in your archive manager, which for me is arc shotcut with a shotcut.app folder and a shotcut.desktop. And this folder has got a bunch of stuff. These are what we need. So what you're going to want to do is export or extract this folder to anywhere you want it to live. For me, that is going to be in my home directory in the programs folder I made. I made a folder just for my programs. Now I've already done this, so you can see it is right, where'd it go? There it is, shotcut right there. I've already extracted it to that folder, so we're gonna go there. So we go to home, I go to programs, and I'm gonna go to Shotcut. And the shotcut.app. This is where pretty much everything you need is, is in this folder. Next, go ahead and open Caden Live. I'm just gonna move my folder off to the side. And you're gonna go to, go to Project, Render, and scroll down until you see GPU testing. And you want to take one of these NVIC H264. I don't think it matters which one. I did CBR and it worked great. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, but CBR seemed to work very well. It cut a three hour render down to like half an hour, 45 minutes, which is fantastic. So you want to click that and you would click this little button, which is to create a new profile. So here we are. We got the profile name. You can name it whatever you want. I named mine NVIDIA uh, NVENC H264. Speed options, you don't need to leave, you need to leave blank. Group is whatever, uh, extension is MP4. And then you're gonna wanna replace these options. These options will need to be replaced with the following. You're gonna wanna replace them with these settings. So I've gone ahead and filled it out. You can see I've got mine saved right here. This is what I did. I cleared out what was here and pasted in this set of, this line right here. And I will have this in the description as well so that you can just copy and paste it. So that's super easy for you. Now, once you've done that, you're going to click OK. It's going to save. And you'll have your little preset. However, this isn't all you need to do. So once you've done that, you're going to want to go over to Settings, Configure Caden Live, go down to the Environment Settings, and right here, MLT Environment is what we're going to need to edit. You will have completely different things for all of these paths. What you will do now is instead 
replace each of these with the path to these files. So for example, for FFmpeg, I replaced it with the path to this FFmpeg file. For the, the FFplay app, I replaced it, I replaced it, I replaced it with the path to the FFplay file right here. FFpro, same thing. MLT profiles folder is within share and MLT. And then profiles. This is, you want to link to this folder, the entire folder. And then for melt path, again, to this melt file. Once you have replaced all of these, you will click apply and okay. Now you have GPU rendering on an NVIDIA GPU in Caden Live. I'm not kidding, that's it. You are essentially stealing the GPU rendering setup of another editing program and just telling Caden Live, oh, you need to render with this profile, use these files from this guy over here. And it works amazingly. I am honestly shocked how well it works for how stupidly easy of a setup that is. I expected to have to do something like, you're gonna have to download the Caden Live source code and add in this file and then recompile it or some complicated thing like that. No, you download another editor and you just tell Caden Live to look at those files instead of the ones it comes with. And that's it. You never have to actually use that editor. Now you do want to leave that as is. You don't want to edit anything in that other editor's folder because I believe those uh, configuration files rely on that program's setup. So you don't want to change anything in that just to be safe. You may be able to delete some stuff. You may not be able to, I'm not certain. I'd say just leave it as is. We all have giant hard drives now. They're fairly cheap, at least for now. So I wouldn't worry too much. It's not a big application and it lets you do a lot of stuff. If you've got a media creation setup and your main concern is to get that GPU rendering, a little bit of extra room to have two editors on your computer is probably not that big a deal to you. But that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, I would go ahead and show you how to do it um, and show you the time difference, but I actually haven't edited any videos yet today, so I don't have anything to render. <laughs> I'm doing that after this video. But that's it. It's a short little video this week. Hopefully that'll help you guys out. I'm trying to make things a little bit quicker. I'm trying to record two videos today, hence why they tend to be a little bit of shorter videos. I am working on some bigger projects that may or may not be coming soon. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on workflow and time, what little I have of it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you guys out. If you happen to be on Windows and you just watch this video anyway, uh, appreciate the watch time. Sorry this didn't actually help you. Uh, you, I believe Caden Live on Windows has GPU rendering out the box. I don't know why the Linux version does it, but whatever. But thank you guys for watching. Hit like, comment, and subscribe to let you know when I'm up to... <laughs> Hit the like button to let me know that you enjoyed the video and comment to... Let me know if you have any questions or anything that you need help with. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. I can't guarantee I'll respond to all of them, but I can let you know that I will respond to every single one I possibly can. And I will try to help you as best as I can. I'm not an expert in this. I'm just a guy who has started figuring stuff out. And also hit subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos and hit the bell to actually get notified because YouTube is weird like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time. Peace out.